Hello and welcome back to this episode. Well, there's two questions you get asked uh, more often than not in the gun shop. What's the best air rifle you've got for sale? What are the best pellets I can use? Well, hopefully this short video will answer the question number two. What are the best pellets to use? If you've got a Walther RM8, you need to watch this video. So with something that somebody wants referred to as dodgy video editing, I'm going to go from here to here. Welcome to the Ops of Gun Company air rifle range. I'm now going to take up a seated position behind the back of a Walther RM8. Hello guys and welcome back. Well you're joining me here in the air rifle range at the Oxford Gun Company and today I'm setting up a brand new Walther RMA Ultra Compact. It's in 2.2 and this is for a customer that's coming on Saturday to pick it up. On top of it is the Hawk Fast Mount 3 to 9 by 40 scope. And what I like to do here is uh, for customers that have bought a rifle and scope package is to do a basic zero in at either 20 or 30 yards today i've chosen 30 yards because i know the chap's going to be shooting pigeons and rabbits and when i say i've tried every single pellet on the shelf believe me i have uh, from a to z uh, and i've got the, my choice of pellet for the walter rm8 whether it's 177 or 22 is the premier so this is the Premier Hollow Point 14.3 grain. Now, believe me, I've tried every single pellet, Air Arms, BSA, H&N, JSB, you name it, it's all gone through this gun. But the, the ultimate pellet and the pellet that gives consistent performance and accuracy is this Premier. So it's a very short video just, just to sort of highlight people that are thinking of buying one or got one of these and they've had problems with zeroing problems. Try the Premiers first. Um, I'm sure you'll be delighted with them. Um, that's my go-to pellet if somebody buys one of these rifles. So I'm just going to do a quick three-shot group now. We're at 30 yards, so let's see how this old girl performs. So, magazine full of eight shots, Premier Hollow Point, let's see how it goes. Don't forget the auto safe. Right, so there we go. You don't have to watch the British Bake Off to see the proof of the pudding. It's just happened here. Let's go and get the target and I'll show you what we've just done. Bear in mind, it's a brand new rifle. Um, it's probably had about 40 shots through it. As I said, I've been testing loads of different pellets. So premiers are the last ones I've tried. Let's go and have a look. So before I do the long walk out to the 30 yard target, you'll notice in front of me, uh, it's only about 15, 16 feet away, is a small paper target. That is what I use to do my initial zero with a brand new scope. Just to give you an idea roughly where the scope is lined up, a couple of shots and you can move the crosshairs to where that shot is. Um, and I don't worry about if it's a little bit low because that will counteract itself uh, when you're shooting out at a range of sort of 30 yards. So. I'm going to leave this camera going. I'm going to walk out, pick up the target, and we'll come back and just see how good the Walther is. That's the close up range target. Well, the range has uh, had a bit more work done it to this week. Um, I've now stretched it out to about 75 yards on the top of that bank up to the right hand side. There's loads of new gongs and um, bells to hit and lots of little spinners on those vertical posts. So there's plenty there to keep people happy. Um, this was on the back of somebody saying there wasn't any enough hard enough targets there. So uh, obviously I got out of bed the wrong side one morning and put some real stinkers up there. And I'll bring this back here now and put it there so you can see there's been no jiggery pokery. I've not been sticking pens through it. Uh, not that I would anyway because I'm only cheating myself. So hopefully that's focused on that and you can see that there's three. I think that's what they call a clover leaf. So there's three there touching shots at 30 yards. Now remember I'm left handed. So uh, a right handed person, their sort of hit point would be a crosshair about a quarter of an inch over to the right. It normally is, but that's something we can set up within a couple of minutes 
with the new owner on Saturday. There you go, I've just come back around the, the side of the, the uh, shooting point now. That's the target I've just showed you at a distance. Three shots there, and what I, what I did say, remember I'm a left-hander, so what normally happens is a right-handed person, their shot group would be a, about a quarter of an inch over to the right-hand side. No great shakes there, and I can soon set that up with the, the new owner on Saturday. So remember, if you've got a Walther RM8, 177 or 22, it doesn't seem to make a difference. Uh, and you're still struggling with the pellets, give those P Premier uh, hollow points a try. Uh, I've not had a problem with them and I would, I would certainly recommend them. Um, so that's just the personal thing I've found here, having spent uh, a lot of time trying to get these things sorted out for customers. Uh, on the subject of sorting customers out of rifles, yesterday I sold the final two of the uh, BSA R12. So They've all gone, all three that I did the video here last Wednesday, they've all gone now, so that's uh, six days. I did speak to BSA yesterday, I've ordered three more, and also uh, mentioned the video that I've done, I've had a, a great response, and also the points that I made at the end about the carbon bottle, uh, doing away with the shiny paint on the aluminum bottle, and also um, perhaps a Picatinny rail. Uh, those comments weren't dismissed, they were gonna be forwarded on to the managing director, so hopefully, um, that might come in a later day or as an optional extra. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it's been useful. Remember, if you've got a Walter RM8, give these Premier hollow point pellets a try. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you'll be happy with the results. So that's all from now. I better get back because the boss will be looking for me. See you again on another video soon. Cheerio! So that's the Walther RM8 Ultra Compact in 2.2. Uh, these results have been the same on the 177 as well. Thank you uh, to the Oxford Gun Company for letting me do this film at the range this morning. Coming up, uh, the squirrel feeder has gone back out in the woods at the airfield complex. So I'm hopeful we're going to get some visitors there. And uh, there's been a report of a couple of foxes again uh, where the peacocks were. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, please click on the subscribe button if you enjoyed the content. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheerio!